Hello friends, this video polynomials part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched polynomials part 1 to part 6 where we have three zeros. We have taken scenario where we have one zero, where we have two zero. Now we will take scenario where we have three zeros. Let's take the polynomial function as x is nothing but x cube minus 4x. Let's take this and now draw the graph. So p of 0 will be nothing but 0 cube minus 4 into 0 that is 0. Correct. P of 1 will be 1 q minus 4 into 1 that is minus 3. Correct. P of minus 1 will be nothing but minus 1 q that is minus 1 q minus 4 into minus 1 that is 3. That becomes 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. P of 2 is nothing but 2 q minus 4 into 2 that is 8 minus 8 that is 0 p of minus 2 will be minus 2 q right minus 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 minus 8 it is again 0 let's take p of 3 3 will be 3 q minus 4 into 3 that is 27 minus 12 that is 15 these are the points we have if you want we can take p of minus 3 also that will come out to be minus 3 q minus 4 into minus 3 correct that is minus 27 plus 12 that is minus 15 so we have these points the points are 0 comma 0 1 comma 3 correct minus 1 comma 3 2 comma 0 minus 2 comma 0 and then we have 3 comma 15 and minus 3 comma minus 15 so we have these points let's plot this point so 0 1 2 3 only this 2 3 is required because our x varies from 0 to minus 3 to minus plus 3 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 now so y varies from 0 to or minus 15 to plus 15 so we can take like this this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 these are the points we have now let's plot the point First is 0, 0, this point plotted. 1, 3, 1, 3. This x is 1, y is 3 is this point actually. Plotted. x is minus 1, y is equal to 3. Sorry, this is minus 3. This is minus 3. This is minus 3. So this is x equal to 1, y is equal to minus 3. This is this point. This is my point. This is not my point. This is my point. Second point. Third point is minus 1 comma 3. Minus 1 plus 3 is this point. Plotted. Fourth is 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 is this point. Plotted. Fourth is minus 2 comma 0. Plotted. 3 comma 15. 3 comma 15 is... Hold on. 3 comma 15 is this point, 3 comma 15 is somewhere here we get and then minus 3 comma minus 15 is somewhere here. So we have all the points. Now let's join these points. So if we join this point what you get is this point you can join like this. Correct? This point you can sorry join like this now at this point you can join like this and then you have this point so you get graph like this correct what we have done we have all these points and we have plotted we have got the graph like this 
now still this is going up this is going up it won't meet again the x-axis we can see that at three points this polynomial function meet the x-axis so we can see there are three zeros right so there are three zeros number of zeros number of zeros is equal to three and the value of zeros are nothing but minus 2 0 and 2 why because minus 2 comma 0 0 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 are three points where this graph is meeting the x-axis so we'll take the x-coordinates and the x-coordinates are minus 2 comma 0 comma 2 so we can see that there are three zeros for this polynomial function and the value of those zeros are minus 2 0 and 2 thus we have proved that we have showed that a polynomial, a cubic polynomial function can have 1, 0, 2, 0 or 3, 0. At the max, 3, 0. One catch here is and one very crucial point to note here is there can't be any cubic full, uh, cubic polynomial function with zero, no zeros. There has to be one zero minimum. If you see the normal linear polynomial function, the linear we have seen it can have only one zero, right? Quadratic can have 0, 1 and 2 zeros and cubic will have 1, 2 or 3 zeros. It will never have zero function. In fact, the rule is, we will explain in the next slide, that any function, polynomial function, which has odd, odd power, for example 1, 3 and 5, that will always have some zeros. That can, there can never be a scenario where you have uh, odd polynomial function with no zeros. Please note, in cubic polynomial function, there has to be one zero minimum. Similarly, in linear polynomial function also, there has to be one zero minimum. But for quadratic polynomial function, there can be a polynomial function. In fact, we have shown that where there is no. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.